Hi, welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome to As Told by Canadian Immigrants. Now, you want to move to Canada and you don't know where to start. I know how you feel. There are so many options out there about how to come to Canada. And sometimes it can be overwhelming and if not overwhelming, confusing. So what I've done is to lay out for you an if then else logic of the options that are available to you and if they are not available to you some recommendations as to how to make them available and if those recommendations are not available to you then move on so if this option works then do it or else try another option so that's what this is all about we're gonna get into that right now So this wonderful topic is a topic that I have written about on our blog. Yes, we have a blog and we have a website. So what you want to do is go to www.astoldbycanadianimmigrants.com. That's what we are. Anywhere you go, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Gmail, Twitter, and our website as told by canadianimmigrants.com. So you're going to want to go to that page and you want to go to the blog. In the blog, we talk about the five options that are available to you to move to Canada, with number one being the most, one of the most popular ways and the way that I came to Canada through is the Express Entry Program. Now, very briefly, the Express Entry Program, if you don't know already, it's a point-based system. The more points you have, the greater the chance of you being invited to apply for permanent residency. You get points for different things. Age, your educational background, your work experience, your English score, even if you come from an English-speaking country. Yes, you have to do an English test. And you need to ace that test to get the maximum amount of points. Now, if you find that you have calculated your score, and in the blog, we tell you how to calculate your score or where to find the information on how to calculate your score. If you find that you calculate your score and you have enough points based on what is being called, then do it. If you don't have enough points, here are some recommendations. There are a few things that you can do to get more points, right? And on, on our blog, we talk about the different ways that you can get more points. One. Go to school in Canada. That's what I did. Now, the cost of going to school in Canada is a little bit turned up, but see it as an investment, uh, especially if you have some postgraduate studies that you want to fulfill. After you go to school in Canada, work in Canada for a little while. Work in Canada for a year if you've only gone to school for a year, or two years if you've gone to school for two years, because that will definitely get you some more points. If you did not get the highest score on your English test, go and do back the test. The test is very important because it's not just the English test score that will give you the points, it's also English test score plus your work experience, English test score plus your education, everything, everything, everything connect. So just do back the English test and try to get the maximum score. If not the maximum score, get higher than your last score so that you can increase your points. I have seen points move from 400 to 481 just by getting perfect score on the English test. So consider it, do the math, do the calculations on the calculator to see if redoing the English test will get you more points because from 400 to 481 is a big difference and 481 will get you an invitation to apply. If you've tried those three or if those three are not available to you, work for a little bit longer in your country. Now, one year work experience in your country will get you less points than three years work experience in your country. So work for a little bit longer and wait the time and maybe your score will grow. Up. And it is likely that your score may go up. Now, if you've already worked for three years and more, working for another year won't give you any more points. The next thing is, get nominated by a province. Now, this is a little bit out of my expertise. 
and I'm going to have somebody on here who will talk about their provincial nominee experience and what it was like for them. But if the province nominates you to become a part of that province and come and work there, you get 600 points plus the points that you already have which is a big bonus. So the provincial nominee program we'll talk about later, but that will get you some more points as well. The next thing is get a job offer supported by a labor market impact assessment. Now this is a little bit complicated and the line in the blog, I literally say, get a job offer supported by a labor market impact assessment. What? And you can click the what and find out what the hell that means. Now, it is a pretty complicated process. I've tried it and I was unsuccessful. And I wasn't unsuccessful because we tried everything possible, but we got to a point where it was asking too much of the employer, too much information, too much nitty gritty. And I aborted that mission because Express Entry became available. So it's not impossible but it is a little bit on the complicated side. But if you find somebody who is willing to do it for you, 600 points, good for you. Now, if none of those options are available to you, if you don't have enough money to show as proof of funds for express entry, move on because there are other options that are available to you. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. You've heard about that. That's probably the theme of this channel for the last couple of weeks. And it is because I see it as um, kind of like a ray of hope for people who don't have enough money to show for express entry, right? And not only enough money, but probably also not enough educational background, not enough work experience, and not enough points on the English test because it will take a lower test score it will take maybe one year work experience and it will take people who probably just have a high school education right so i like this for the people who are struggling to make the points for express entry and why i like this even more is because you have to have a job before you come to canada and you know you can see it as a pro you can see it as a con I see it as a pro because some people come here and think that you're going to just walk into a job and that might not be the case. So the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program is another option that's available to you. We have talked a lot about that program. Check out those videos and check out the job list that will help you to find jobs that are available in Atlantic Canada. That can also be found on our website www.astoldbycanadianimmigrants.com do I need to talk more about the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program? No. I'm going to direct you to the videos because we have a whole playlist on that program. If you're not interested in going to Atlantic Canada, you can move on and look at the Provincial Nominee Program. Now, I spoke a little bit about that when I mentioned the Express Entry Program because points towards Express Entry can come from Provincial Nominee, but not always. You can apply to the province independent of express entry, right? It's, I think it's a $1,500 application to apply to the province to say, listen province, I like you and you like me. Invite me to come and so we can be. That, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that is also an option that's available to you because there are provinces that are trying to build their population, trying to build their labor force and people just don't have enough money for express entry. No. I think the tricky part about this program is that whereas you can apply for provincial nominee, it is the province that determines how you submit your application based on what I have read. So once you get approved, the province will say apply through express entry or they will say apply through the normal provincial nominee application. I don't know what criteria or what basis they choose either or on but that is what i have read and if that is the case then my understanding is therefore that if it, they choose the express entry route you have to show that you have enough money so i'm not sure but i'm going to interview somebody to tell me a little bit more about the provincial nominee program and hopefully it will give you guys some insights on options that are available to you then you can get your family to sponsor you. I sponsored my husband. 
and so he is here now the sponsorship is of course a lot easier if it's spousal sponsorship because then you can prove that it's your spouse all of these things happened especially if you have a child and you, even if you're not married you can do it through common law especially if you have a child but other family members can sponsor you too but there's a long list of requirements that you each have to meet in order to be eligible i'm throwing it out there because maybe you can check all the boxes on that list and maybe a family member can bob's your uncle if that works for you then do it or else the rural and northern immigration pilot program this is something that is opening up soon um, my understanding that is it's opening up in the fall fall is any time now which is about october november this program now is you see like in atlantic canada it is the employers that drive this program in the rural and northern pilot program it is the communities in those areas that drive this program so the communities are trying to grow right and in order to to be eligible to for them they have to prove that they have job opportunities they have support systems to support new immigrants and to support a high influx of people right they have to have enough schools they have to have enough banks i don't know about the banks but it only makes sense right so the community in rural and northern canada will apply to the government and say we need some more people we need some good people we need some working people we need some children here's my application they and they will be approved and then through that approval you can apply to become an immigrant in one of those communities i like that too now northern canada is colder but you want to come to Canada. Canada is cold. So you're going to have to just get over the cold part. So check out that program too. It is looking like similar to the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. And all of the provinces that are participating in this program are all the provinces except Atlantic provinces and Quebec. Quebec is like another country. So we're not going to. Right? So keep an open mind with regards to this program look out for the launch date and as soon as more information becomes available i'll talk all about it the same organization that has put together the list of jobs in atlantic canada will also be doing a list of jobs in this program so look out for that i'm excited for that for you because of course i'm on it here i'm not trying to get a list of jobs i'm not trying to look for another job i'm good but i'm excited for you guys because it opens up a lot of doors for people who may not be able to meet the criteria for express entry check out the blog post the blog post goes into a little bit more detail for you and gives you some more links to find more information about these programs comment in the comment section below on the blog or on this video if anything is unclear or if you have any questions i would like to answer them to the best of my abilities i'm not going to tell you that i have all the answers because i don't but if i do have the answer i'll give it to you and if i don't i will tell you who can help you i appreciate the time you take to watch our videos to send us comments some people are so full of love oh my gosh who will just drop by and say you know what thank you so much for your video and i appreciate the time you take to send that message because it's meaningful to me that you're finding this content useful and it is helping you so thank you so much for commenting thank you for liking Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it with people who are interested in coming to Canada and don't know where to start. This video will, is just about directing you to that blog post to give you more information. So I appreciate you. Remember to subscribe. There's a subscribe button on the end of the screen right here. Join our immigrant community. Click the notification bell so you know when you're getting new episodes because it's very important because it might just answer the question that you have floating around in your mind. Until then, keep the faith, keep the faith. Don't lose hope, okay? See you in the next video.